I'm mildly obsessed with numbers. So I started with the stats regarding my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Like how Humira has been prescribed to over 300,000 patients. And how many patients saw clear or almost clear skin in just four months. The kind of clearance that can last. Humira targets and blocks a specific source of inflammation that contributes to some patients. And how many patients saw clear or almost clear skin in just four months. The kind of clearance that can last. Humira targets and blocks a specific source of inflammation that contributes to symptoms. Numbers are great. Humira targets and blocks a specific source of inflammation that contributes to symptoms. Numbers are great. And seeing clear skin, pretty awesome too. That's what I call the body of proof. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections including tuberculosis and cancers including lymphoma have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections including lymphoma have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Want more proof? Ask your dermatologist about Humira. This is my body of proof.